Shavua Tov, and welcome to Bet Zedek All Access for our Havdalah, Malava Maka, and Slichot program. We're so pleased that you're here with us this evening. If you happen to have a Havdalah set, we invite you to get that now and to get ready as we join with Cantor Ezer, with Ezra Burke, and with our special guest this weekend, Rabbi Josh Warshawski, for Havdalah, followed by a concert in which we'll be singing melodies together on the themes of the High Holy Days of forgiveness and of renewal, as well as the transition from Shabbat to Chol to the week ahead. Rabbi Warshawski is an internationally known touring Jewish musician, song leader, and composer. Josh seeks to build intentional prayer communities and travels to synagogues, camps, and schools across the world, sharing his music and teachings on prayer. He's originally from Chicago and has released three albums of Jewish music, with a fourth on the way in 2021. Josh's melodies are written intentionally to express the deep meaning of the words of our tradition. Josh was ordained at the Ziegler School of Rabbinic Studies in Los Angeles. I, of course, know him from USY, who was very active in Camp Ramah as well. Rabbi Fire Bodson knows him from his time in Chicago at the Zell Jewish Day School. More information about Rabbi Warshawski can be found on his website, www.joshwarshawski.com. The text for this evening, Havdalah, the concert, and Sichot, can be found on our website. If you go to our homepage, www dot beth hyphen tzedek with a c dot org. In the events section, just below the big banner, you'll see to the left hand side, a box for slichot. If you press that box, that'll take you to the slichot page. And there you'll be able to download the text sheets for this evening. It's also available the URL if you look at the bottom of our live stream on what's called the bottom third, you'll see there um, the information for that as well. You can't click directly there, we're sorry for that, uh, but that is the address by which you can directly find the text for this evening. That's enough talking for now. Let's turn to Havdalah. Shavua Tov, everyone. Thank you so much, Rabbi Wernick. It's so great to be here with all of you. It's so great to get to join Beth Sedek for this Shabbat, this beautiful Shabbat, leading us into the high holidays with Slichot. We're going to begin Havdalah with a, a love song, saying goodbye to Shabbat. And what we'll do, it begins just with a sigh. It just goes, ah. If you can all try and take that sigh with me, just breathe it in and let it all out. Ah. And the sigh actually has a melody that goes along with it. It goes like this. Ah, 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 ah. Try that with me, ready? Ah, 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 ah. So that's going to come around a whole bunch of times. Hopefully you'll sing along whenever it does. We're going to sing this love song to Shabbat. It'll lead us through the opening words of Hine El Yeshuati. This feeling of togetherness, not being afraid. And then I'll turn it back over to Cantor Sydney for the brachot. When the moonlight hits your eyes and the stars begin to glow, one by one, and the flame that shines below from a thousand points of light brighter here? than the sun so and you can taste it you can smell it in the air and you can see it on my fingertips and you can wish it like a whisper on your lips count the stars like one two three and say goodbye sing ah, 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 ah. just like that breathe it in let it go from what is light 
I believe, and in relief is love. And when I'm in your arms, I'm unafraid. And you can taste it, you can smell it in the air. And you can see it on my fingertips. And you can wish it, and you can wish it like a whisper on your lips. Count the stars like one, two, three, and say goodbye. Sing ah, 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 ah. Beautiful. Hine El. Hine El Yeshua T. Eftach below Efchad. Yozi, Alamcha birchatecha sela sing ah 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 Adonai tzvaot imanu. Gavlanu Elohe Yaakov Sela Adonai Adonai Tzivaot Ashre Adam Boteach Bach Adonai Hoshia Hamelech Yanenu Biyom Koreinu Together La Yehudim La Yehudim, hai ta'ora, hai ta'ora, v'simcha v'sasson v'ikar, v'simcha v'sasson v'ikar. Ken t'ye lanu, ken t'ye lanu, kos yeshu odessa, u'v'shem Adonai ekra. One last time, sing ah, ah, Amen. 
So wonderful again to be here with all of you. Thanks so much for tuning in and for joining us as we continue through uh, this Malava Malka, bringing our way out of Shabbat, making our way into Slichot, into this time period where we're welcoming the new year, bringing in 5781. We're going to sing a whole bunch of melodies right now. Hopefully you'll follow along on, the, on our prayer sheet, on our Slichot song sheet on the website, and uh, you'll be able to see all the words for everything we're going to sing right now and also for Slichot together. We'll begin with a melody for Hayom Harat Olam. Hayom Harat Olam is this prayer that we say whenever we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah, and it's all about the world being pregnant with possibility. Today the world was created. Today the world stands in judgment. And the question is, how are we going to be judged? It brings up two possibilities. Are we going to be judged as if we are children? Or are we going to be judged as if we are servants? How, do, how, how are we viewed in the eyes of God? How do we view ourselves is the real question. If we view ourselves as if we have no agency, no way to make reparations, no way to do tshuva, then we won't take any action. But if we view ourselves as if the possibility is in our hands, then it's up to us to make this change. It's up to us to make this a, wor a better world, as we'll talk about throughout this evening with Olam Chesed Yibaneh, making this world a world filled with loving kindness. So as we sing this song, you'll hear two separate melodies that are flowing in and out. One for if we're blessed, if we're blessed to be judged as if we are children. One as if we're servants, if we're looking up, our eyes dependent on what our verdict may be. 
starts with an igun. Try that with me. Hayom harat olam. Hayom, hayom, hayom harat olam. Hayom, hayom, hayom harat olam. Hayom, hayom, hayom harat olam. Hayom yamid ba mishpat kol yitzure olami. Im kevanim, im kaavadim. Im kevanim, im kaavadim. Im kevanim, im kaavadim. Oh, im kevanim, im kaavadim, im kevanim. Rachamenu kirachem aval banim. Ve'im kaavadim. Hayom <laughs> Ve'im ke'avadim Einenu lecha tluyot Ad she'techanenu Ve'totzika or mishpatenu Ayom kadosh Ay, na, 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 ya Ay, na, na, ya Ay, na, na, ya Ay, na, na, ya Beautiful. Thanks for singing along with me on that one. We make our way through. We're beginning at the very beginning of the world, the beginning of the entire universe. At first, there was nothing. And then suddenly there was a bang, and then the world kept expanding and expanding and expanding until it encompassed all of us. But in that beginning, before that bang, there was only a hum, a hum before the creation of the universe, a hum full of possibility. What will the world look like? And now that we exist, now that we're here, we are partners with God. We have the opportunity to become partners with God in the act of creation. These words come as part of our shacharit service, our morning service every single day. God who lights up the world and all of its inhabitants with mercy. And in God's goodness, every single day, renewing the act of creation. I thought, what does it mean for the act of creation to be renewed every day? It means that there are new things for us to discover in the world, but also it means that we ourselves are new. That you have all of yesterday's experiences inside of your internal memory bank. You can't live today the same way that you lived yesterday. So as we sing and bring this melody into the world, as we hum out this possibility, we allow ourselves to see what it could look like to begin to create our own steps in this world. It starts just with a hum. It's melody number three on our song sheet. 
Like that. Hum, ha, hum, ha, 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 hum, ha, hum, ha, 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 hum, ha, hum, ha, 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 hum. Try one more time. Hum it out. Hum, ha, hum, ha, 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 hum, ha, hum, ha, 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 hum, ha, hum, ha, 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 ha. Words are Hameira, 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 La Aretz, Vila Darim, Ale Habira Hamim. Try it out with me, Hameira, Hameira, Hameira. You got it. Bring your voices up together wherever you are. Hum it out. Let's try Hameira one last time. Bring it up. Hameira, 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 la aretz vila darim ale habira kamim uftuva uftuva nechadesh. Beautiful, everyone. So uh, we'll slow it down just for a minute. We'll still continue with that idea of our responsibility to bring this creation into the world. This next piece is a teaching from Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. In the beginning of chapter 5 of his book, uh, Likutei Maharan, the teachings of Rabbi Nachman, he says, Ki tzarich kol hadam lomar, lo nivra haolam ela bishvili. Every single person must say the entire world was only created for me. Nimtza sha haolam nivra bishvili, once I realized the world was created for me, tzarich ani lerot uleayen bechol eit betikun olam. I need to, at all times, be searching for ways to heal the world. Ulemalot chesron olam, to fill up the holes in the world, vilahit palel ba'avuram, and to pray on the world's behalf. And the idea here 
in contrast to another very famous teaching of Reb Simcha Banim, who says we should always have these two pieces of paper in our pocket, one that says, I am but dust and ashes, the other that says, the whole world was created for me. That we pull out the piece of paper we need at any given time, it gives us balance. Here, what we're saying is every person, hopefully at some point in their lives, is able to say, the whole world was created for me. But we know that, that not everybody is able to say those words. Not everyone has the privilege of being able to say, the whole world was created for me. But if at any point in your life, you have the privilege, you realize that you might feel that way at any given point, that the entire world was created for you, that that comes with the utmost amount of responsibility to do something about that fact, to fill up the holes in the world. The Hasidic master teach us that each person is created with their own holes in the world to fill up, that only you can fill up. No one else can fix those things in the world that you are meant to fix. No one else has the same purpose as you. So as we sing this melody, Kitsarich, we have this realization that the world is created for me, and it comes with this sense of urgency that comes in the chorus, believing that there's something that we have to do, we have to act with that understanding. It's number four. Kitsarich, Kitsarich, Kol Adam I'm going to hand it over in just a minute to uh, 
to Ezra to sing another melody for us. It's a, a melody for the words, Emet Atahu Rishon, Truth, you are first. Truth, you are last. These words that come from our Shacharit service again, right before Micha Mocha, all about God as this ultimate truth. But this word emet is a really powerful word. It's all-encompassing of the entire life cycle. First of all, it goes from aleph to taf, the entirety of the Hebrew alphabet, with mem right in the middle. And second of all, the entire life cycle of a human being encompassed in this word truth, from em, from the mother, from the womb, to met, to death. And as we sing about truth, as we realize that our search for truth, our search for a world of truth and justice is a, an all-encompassing, lifelong journey to find this truth. And so we'll let this melody raise us up and hopefully we'll sing along with Ezra as we lift up Emet, as we hold up truth, as we continue to build an Olam Chesed Yibane, a world filled with loving kindness. Ezra. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that melody with all of us. Hopefully that uplifted a little bit of truth back into our hearts. So if you're following along on our, uh, on our song sheet, our prayer sheet together, we're going to move on to number seven. 
And uh, this is a, a new melody for Gam Ki Elech from Psalm 23. Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. And uh, I wrote this song with a dear friend of mine, Colleen Deeker. Um, I also wrote Hamnet Yira with her. And uh, we were thinking about these words, what it feels like to be alone. And thinking about these words that don't actually come after it in the psalm, we, we skip a couple verses to get to this line, Ach tov v'chesed yir defuni. Surely goodness and kindness will chase after me, kol yemei chayai, all the days of my life. And we wanted these two lines to go hand in hand, that I'm feeling alone, I'm feeling like I'm walking alone in this, in this wilderness, in this desert, but that goodness and kindness, yir defuni, it's not just that they're there, it's not just that they're with me, it's that they're chasing after me without you having to look for them. When you're in your darkest place, when you're feeling the most alone, chesed and tov, goodness and kindness, are chasing after you, seeking you. So as we enter this period of introspection, of, of fear of what, what the next year is going to become, the realization that chesed and tov are coming after us just as we're searching for them. We're meeting in the middle, finding each other. Hopefully I'll sing this melody with me. It's meant to be sung with multiple voices. Every time we sing through the verse, another voice is added, lessening that feeling of solitude and adding on to that feeling of community. And hopefully you'll hear in the melody that year defuni, this goodness and kindness is following us. It's chasing us all the days of our life. It's an active, an active form. Come, ki elech beget salmavet lo irara ki atayim adigam ki elech beget salmavet lo irara ki atayim adigam ki Begets alma ved lo irara ki atayim adigam ki elech. Begets alma ved lo irara ki atayim adi ki atayim adi ki atayim adi. bring ourselves back to this next melody, the melody that's going to be the theme for our high holidays this year, Olam Chesed Ibaneh. Let's build together a world filled with loving kindness. Hand it over to the cantor and Ezra. <laughs> Said ye barn, 
celebration, our Slichot remembrance, our Slichot commemoration this evening with all of you. We've sung a whole bunch of melodies all about how we can center ourselves, allow ourselves to feel the importance of our own actions, and sing our way into this new year. We're going to move on after this last melody with Slichot, but first just one more melody about singing our strength. These words come from Psalm 59, a psalm that's not a part of any of our litur liturgical services as of yet, but the words are so powerful. They struck me once uh, when I first heard them. And I will sing out your strength. And exalt to the morning your faithfulness. You've been a haven for me. And a help for me in my time of distress. It turns out that in 1897, there was a plague in the city of Bombay, which is not Mumbai. And the Jewish community of Bombay reached out to the Ben Ishchai, who was the chief rabbi of Baghdad at the time, and they asked him to write for them a siddur of prayers to say during a plague. And so he hand wrote them a siddur, and we have page of, th of the siddur still with us today. And in the center fold of this siddur, right in the middle, are these words, Va'ani Asher Uzecha, and I will sing out your strength. Words to be said every single day during a time of distress, during this time when people were suffering. Words that can mean just as much to us today as they meant a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago. And the most powerful thing about this phrase, it starts with va'ani ashir uzecha, and I will sing your strength. But by the end, we're singing these last three words as a mantra over and over again. Uzi, elecha azamara, my strength, I will sing out to you. Through singing together, through seeing each other in community, through coming together in any way that we can, we allow ourselves to find our own voices. And especially now when we're here in our homes, wherever we may be, 
it's much more easy to find the power, to hear the power in your own voice when you sing. So hopefully you'll join me in those last three words, Uzi, Elecha Azamera, as we sing it as a mantra together. Ba'ani Ashir Uzecha Ba'arane Lavo Ker Chastecha Ki hayita miskavli umanos beyom tsarli. Vani ashir uzecha, v'aranein lavo kerchastecha, ki hayita miskavli umanos Beyom Sarli Uzi Elecha Azamera Azamera Uzi Elecha Azamera Azamera Elecha Azamera Azamera Uzi Elecha Azamera Azamera Vani Ashir Uzecha Arane lavo ker chastecha ki hayita miskavli umanos beyom tsarli Uzi elecha azamera azamera Elecha Azamera Azamera Uzi Elecha Azamera Azamera Uzi Elecha Azamera Azamera Azamera, Azamera, Uzi Elecha, Azamera, Azamera, Uzi Elecha, Azamera, Azamera.